more secrecy spurs over the death of Obama's personal chef. Welcome to Ray Dog's Random Thoughts. Ray Sean Blyden here. Politicalbombshow.com. RayDog.com. Help and support us that way. Leave a like, share, and subscribe. Let's talk about this as I'm sure, certainly sure that this will not be monetized. So go ahead and leave a like, share, and subscribe. And do visit Politicalbombshow.com and help us out that way. More secrecy spurs cover up accusations surrounding death of Obama's chef or the Obama's chef conspiracy theories continue to I just like to say that not a lot of conspiracy theories turn out to be true but I'm I digress conspiracy theories continue to circulate around the drowning death of the Obama's personal chef Tafari Campbell due to what one media outlet is calling a cover-up by the Massachusetts police. I wouldn't be surprised. Police in Massachusetts are continuing to cover up information about the death of Obama personal chef Tafari Campbell even after declaring the case closed this week. The DailyMail.com reports. So don't look at me, YouTube. I am just reporting what the Daily Mail said. So don't shoot the messenger. Of particular interest to online sleuths is the unnamed female companion that was reportedly with Campbell, a seemingly strong swimmer when he drowned in shallow water while paddle boarding near Barack Obama's Martha Vineyard summer home. As Biz Pack Review reported, the Daily Mail had previously revealed that the woman, a fellow employee at the residence, allegedly attempted to save Campbell when he fell off the board and disappeared beneath the surface of the water. She reportedly tried to get to Campbell in time but couldn't and was forced to rush back to shore to ask for help, Massachusetts State Police told Mass Live. Um, I don't know. I don't know where to even begin with this one because I just don't trust anything that's coming out because they will do anything to protect their beloved Obamas. Now, we can reveal that she is a 26-year-old the DailyMail.com reported on Saturday her identity, however, is still unknown. Official details of Campbell's death remain a mystery, thanks to the authorities' closed, tight lips. Releasing the summary conclusion, conclusion of a report from the chef medical examiner officials refused refused to reveal even basic findings such as whether Campbell suffered a medical episode or was under the influence of drugs or alcohol according to the dailymail.com state police have also warned other law enforcement agencies to not to release information there's got to be a, um, what do you call, um, what do you call it? There's got to be a whistleblower there. Come on, whistleblower. Blow the whistle on this one. It needs to be blown. 
an incident report was released on Wednesday by the Edgartown Police now that the case has been closed, but the names of the U.S. Secret Service agent who dialed 911 and information related to the sole witness to the drowning, the female companion, were redacted, of course. On Tuesday, DailyMail.com again made a request to the Dukes County Sheriff's Office that the 911 call be released. Susan, whatever your name is, Scolo Field, the Sheriff's Supervisor of Communication, has yet to prove, provide it. They're not going to provide it. On Wednesday morning, they claim, I am waiting for a response from the trooper who is in charge of the investigation. Nothing yet, she stated on Thursday morning, promising she'd get back to the Daily Mail as soon as I hear. Of course, they're not going to get back to anything. The executor, dire- the executor director of the New England First Amendment Coalition, Justin Silverman, said previously that the state may be in violation of the public records laws. The burden is on the law enforcement to show how the investigation may be jeopardized by releasing certain information, he said. Yeah, I, I don't believe a word. This, they co- it sounds like a cover-up to me. Again, not my words, YouTube. Don't shoot the messenger. On Thursday, Robert Bursay, general counsel of the New England Newspaper and Press Association, told the DailyMail.com that the police silence on the incident is a, a disservice to the public and is responsible for a cottage industry of conspiracy theories. The 911 call absolutely should be released, he said. So, should the other details about the now completed investigation by state or local authorities. So anyway, um, I, I, it's just this is a mess. It obviously stinks as a cover up. You can't say it's a cover up, but you know when you know. You know what they say if it quacks like a duck or whatever, like a duck, it's a duck. Well, yeah. There's definitely something fishy going on here. No pun intended, but yeah. Anyway, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Let me know. Do you think that this is being covered up, or is this a conspiracy theory that's just gone wild, and I sh- and they should just leave it alone? And I'll see you in the next one.